Hey guys, I have recently added a new set of tools to my manometer kit. I have this kit right here that I have used with the SDMN6, which is a phenomenal manometer. You can test negative pressure switches and pull a vacuum on them and calibrate them. But I have recently added this, and it's the JL3KM2. It's a Bluetooth manometer kit so you can measure air and gas pressure on a high and low across a gas valve or across a air handler but i'm going to show you how to use them today measuring across an air handler i think you'll like them it's a nice add to my kit here we go Alright, so first I wanted to go over what is this is my manometer kit right here. And this field piece bag fits right in there. The kit comes with two probes to measure air pressure. It also comes It also comes with the gas pressure kit to test on um, the smaller types. It has the adapters for it and it has the tubes for the larger types where you screw in the fitting. And the probes themselves, as you can see, Are very similar to some of the other field piece probes today I'm going to test air pressure Let's see which one is this we're going to test air pressure on this air handler right here first you got to drill your little hole before the first takeoff So I've got these ready to go in. I have drilled a little hole right here in my supply before my first takeoff. And what you what you can do is you can zero these out. This one's already close to zero, but you just press the button once, it blinks blue, and it goes to zero. And then this goes towards the airflow. Let's see if y'all can see what I did. It goes towards the airflow like that. That arrow faces the airflow. Then over here, we're gonna do the same thing gotta be careful over here let's uh, zero that out flash is blue okay we're at zero on our return here so we face that face this into the airflow and right now this is my return it's coming in this way so we're gonna do it like that and there you have my total inches water column. I'm at 0.61. Ideal is 0.5. If you ever get up close to one, you got a problem. This is not necessarily a, pro a problem. It may indicate that I have a dirty filter, but, um, that's pretty close. What most people shoot for is 0.5. Some air handlers have the inches water column across the air handler listed on the nameplate. But these right here are really 
going to be nice when it comes time to do, use gas pressure being able to bluetooth my gas pressure um and having these short little hoses that is just that's a really nice idea and it was well thought out all right so basically that's it they are very straightforward and easy to use they can help you diagnose an airflow restriction as i may have shown where it looked like i had a dirty filter and i did so sometimes seeing an airflow restriction is not easy to do maybe it's under a very restricted crawl space and you might be getting older and you can't get down there these probes help you to see if there's an airflow restriction but i'm most looking forward to using them when i'm testing gas pressure that's coming this winter thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.